Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Tequila Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back guys. So I'm going to push out as many videos as I can for you guys today. I know it's been like two weeks, but I've just been so busy and, you know, just clearing out old energy and just trying to get ready for the new year and coming up with new things for the channel. So I've been really busy on my end. So I've been trying to still keep um, interacting with you guys. So I decided to do a quick daily video for you guys today. So I'm going to pull some cards from the Angel Oracle deck. So the first angel card, happy new year, by the way, guys. So the angel card coming up says innocence, be loved one. Everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So what does this tell me before I go into the book? Like, what am I picking up intuitively? I really feel like, you know, sometimes we're so afraid to put ourselves out there. Or we're so afraid to get into new relationships or we're so afraid to just, you know, let our walls down. And I feel like some of you are in that position right now where you feel guilty. You feel guilty for moving on. You feel guilty for letting go. You feel guilty for moving forward. And spirit says like that, that guilt that you're feeling, you're feeling that because for so long you haven't been around the people who truly and honesty love you. You haven't been around the people who have truly saw you for you. So now that you, now that you have leveled up and you're awakening and you know, you're moving into this place of becoming who you're supposed to become, your energy is, is bringing in new people. And these people are meant to be here for a reason. They are meant to help you grow. They are meant to help you move to the next level. So that feeling, that heaviness that you could be feeling is a reflection of, you know, real honest connections, real honest, truthful people. Um, Cause that's what I feel like. I feel like some of you are so afraid to be happy, but spirit is coming through and saying like that guilt you are feeling it is is because in the past so many people have let you down but now you're able to tap into the resources and you're able to tap into what it is that that spirit is truly trying to align you with okay so in the book it says this card comes as reassurance that the situation and the people involved are guiltless if you've been harboring guilt release it to the angels all of the emotions guilt has the lowest vibration, so it attracts negativity. If you're judging others guilt, this card reminds you to see the godliness within them to heal the situation. You don't necessarily have to continue your relationship with anyone you distrust. However, it's necessary to purge toxic thoughts and emotions for your own well-being. The angels ask you to consider that any misunderstandings were an innocent mistake. Additional messages. See the other's point of view, forgive yourself and release regrets. An argument you may have been, may have be, may have, an argument you may have been based on misunderstanding. Honor the inner child within yourself and others. Look past surface illusions and see the underlying spiritual truth of perfection and divine order. Okay? So you might be in a place right now where you're like, Amy, there's just been so many people that have hurt me. There's been so many people that have let me down. I don't know how to let new people in. I don't know how to let new connections in. Um, and I think that we all get to that, that place where we all feel that, right? You're not the only one that feels that. I definitely have felt that. But it's, it's releasing that negativity. It's releasing that fear to say, you know what? The connections, the people from my past... I had to go through the lessons to get to where I am today. So I don't have to feel guilty for being happy. I don't have to feel guilty for being in love again. I don't have to feel guilty for putting my heart out there because where I am right now is where I'm supposed to be. So any guilty feelings you're feeling, I would um, suggest allowing that fear to move away as you move into 2021. Second card says opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Okay? So there's an opportunity coming towards you right now where Spirit is saying, we're giving you this opportunity to forgive this person. We're giving this opportunity for you to say, you know what, I forgive you. It doesn't necessarily mean that this person was right. It just means I forgive you so that I'm able to move on. I forgive you so that I am able to open my heart to what God has for me, to what the angels have for me. 
The angels cite you this card because they see that you've grown weary of a recurring negative pattern in your life. To break this cycle, it's important for you to release old toxic thoughts about the current situation and relationship. You can do this by breathing deeply and on each exhalation, exhalation, giving your fears, worries, anger, and other painful emotion to the angels. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you're condoning the other person's behavior, which is what I just told you guys, but it means that you're unwilling to carry toxic feelings and thoughts about him or her. Release, be free, and experience positive patterns through forgiveness. Avoid blaming yourself or others. As you release anger, a creation resolution to this situation will appear. There are hidden blessings in this relationship and situation. Focus upon desire instead of fears or judgment. Okay, so you have this opportunity that Spirit says you have this opportunity to right now to forgive the people from your past, to forgive. In order to move forward, in order to start a new chapter, in order to start this new beginning, open yourself up to saying, you know what, I am not confined by what has happened to me in my past. I'm not confined what has happened, what, what people have said about me. You know, I'm moving forward with an open heart, with an open mind to say, I forgive anyone who has done wrong and I will continue to move forward in the light of God, in the light of the spirit, the angels, and knowing that I am going in the right direction, knowing that I'm going where I'm supposed to be. And this, this new found, um, mind that you will create, that you will, um, start kind of circulating around in your brain the more you think positive, the more positive comes into your life. And that's what I'm trying to explain. So it's it, it's knowing that if you have any heavy thoughts, you know, heavy feelings, heavy burdens, any of that stuff, it's time to release that as you head into a new year. And that's what I have for you guys. So hopefully this helps you guys. Again, happy new year, guys. Stay safe, love and light, and I'll talk to you soon.